Okay, folks, we're here. We're back. I've literally been thinking about this every single day. I have my pillow behind my back to make me more comfortable. I have my iced chai tea latte. <laughs> chai tea, I think is how you're supposed to pronounce that. Sometimes I don't know if I'm actually pronouncing things right or if I just sound pretentious. It's like, am I being disrespectful if I it pronounce it incorrectly, knowing it's incorrect? Or do I sound more like a douche if I try to pronounce something correctly? It's not really just like a nice, uh, not really a nice balance. I'm doing my best. That's all. That's all anyone has to know. Oh my god, Josh, thank you. I love you. Hold on, I gotta fucking make this chat appearance bigger because I'm an elder and I can't fucking see, bro. Okay. I don't wanna make it too big because then I can't see everything as it ha like, sometimes the chat goes too fast and I miss messages. All right, let's see, maybe this will work. Oh God, oh, I ruined everything. Oh my god, what did I do? <laughs> Fuck. Ah, Twitch! No! Oh god. Alright, whatever. Fucking... Uh, Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> okay, whatever. Anyway, we figured out that somebody slipped a drumstick into the door from the inside to lock it. Uh, which means that they were still in here when uh, when we got here. Or, or at least they somehow escaped from the inside. And at this point, we don't know how they would do that, because, uh, oh my god, literally everything's just a disaster. My sweatshirt's falling off. Okay. Um, we don't know how they did that, because there's, uh, there's no other doors. So this is, this is interesting. Um, we'll see. I guess we'll see where it goes. Don't they do a lot of tricks like that in mystery dramas and stuff? They waited until we were already at the scene of the crime, so maybe they... Someone either... I don't think someone blended in with the crowd here. I think it was more like they found a way out. That That's my thing. I don't think they acted like they showed up with everybody else. Or maybe they hid somewhere and then popped out. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that's the case, there might be evidence of that somewhere around here. Damn it. Definitely gonna find it. I won't let the killer get away with this. Fuyiko's my new, my new little dude. I love this guy now. Team Fuyiko. Team ba Boss Baby. Killer was still inside when we broke the door down. Okay. Double fisting a gin and tonic and a Coors. Okay. You sound like you had a rough day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you work fucking outside in construction and it was like 105 degrees today. <laughs> You've heard of that, mate. <laughs> I've listened to the whole story. I put too much water in my, uh, in my latte mix thing. And not uh, not enough of the mix. I'm unhappy about it. The best, and I, nobody cares about this except for me and Sarah, but I'm going to say it anyway. The best Chati Latte mix that I've ever had of just like store brand shit. Sarah and her mom used to get fucking the best powdered Chati Latte mix from Costco. <laughs> and I haven't had it <laughs> since, since you guys lived together here. And uh, it literally, I think about it constantly. It's, uh, it was just, I mean, otherworldly. Absolutely incredible. Cool, a jammer pack. <laughs> the juxtaposition of the, the gin and tonic and a Kool Aid jammer pack. Huge fan of that. No, you said you'd work Saturday as well. Well, if, uh, if you're hourly, then, you know, it's worth it. Yeah. That was a kind of cool entrance. Wow. Besides the broken drumstick, I've also discovered something interesting. See? There's a weird glob where the right and left door touch. See? Ew. <laughs> it's flubber. It's, it's just, it looks too firm to think it's rubber. I deadass thought that I actually said flubber for a second. Yep. And I was about to be like, wow, I called it. Yeah, it doesn't look like rubber, but as she said that, Chiaki bent down, scraped off the semi-transparent glob with her finger. No! <laughs> Don't put it in your mouth! Oh, no problem, Sarah. Yeah, I know. That that tea was incredible. I know. This one I got from, from King Supers is okay. It's it's pretty good. It asks me to measure in ounces, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. It doesn't work out very well every time I try to do it. It smells like workshop chemicals. Girl, and it's in your mouth? Girl, we need to get your stomach pumped. <laughs> 
this thing may be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it was a glob from the start. For instance, it was originally a liquid that hardened into this. Might be possible to apply it directly and smoothly in the gaps of the door. How is she able to tell that from chewing on this? Oh my god. Oh, see, there you go, Josh. You get some good overtime, you get some good extra hours, make up for the time you had to take off. Bing, bang, boom, you know? Fuck it. <laughs> That's her spitting face. That's what it looks like when she spits chemicals out of her face. Just as I thought, it tastes nasty. Okay, bye! <laughs> yeah, just like a little a little terrier running around licking shit up off the floor. Chiaki, what's in your mouth? What's in your mouth? Spit it out! <laughs> Get that green glob out of your mouth. Semi-transparent glob has been added. Alright. Uh, I think we worked our way this way. Or did we talk to everyone? I don't think so. Shit. I feel like we talked to Mikon and Sonya. I feel like we talked to everybody. Okay, well, hold on. What's the... First off, let's check on Garimi. <laughs> Remember to be... <laughs> Yoko is dead, Pog. <laughs> oh, poor Mel. Not only were you the only person in chat whose favorite was Hyoko, but now everyone's happy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, what is it? Uh, triangle, right? Oh, the back room, I bet. That was it, because we did... We checked the machine, we checked the stage. On the stage, we checked that curtain and all that stuff up there. So I'm thinking we want to go to the storage room. You have a lot of faves in this one? Who else are some of your faves? I would love to know. All right, my prediction about one of the guitars being missing did not happen, but that's fine. Hajime, please don't be mean to Nagito. I love him. <laughs> did you come here to investigate this storage room too? I just wanted to confirm what you were thinking. Hey. Did you find any clues? The tipped over stepladder on the stage, the duct tape binding Hyoko, probably all came from this storage room. There might be other things from this storage room that they used for the crime. You always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just gonna be on the killer side, right? <laughs> I don't know. I never feel like he's on the side of the killer. I feel like Hyoko's just like... I don't know. I, I feel like he's just a little... off. <laughs> Was he on the side of the killer previously? What do you mean? With Byakuya? He, he do be a little nuts, so you're right. I guess he was kind of on the side. He was more... I felt like he was more on the side of chaos. And you know what? This has been... I have been called out for this before, and I think it's very true. That's true. He is always literally like, let me help you kill. You're right. No, that's true. <laughs> I don't think it would make him get in the way of an investigation, but you're, you're right. You're right. Uh, it has been said before to me that uh, I am always drawn to these characters who are ambivalent towards good and evil, i.e. Shadow the Hedgehog. That's my boy. He do be stylish, though! I know. I saw a really good um, screenshot of somebody's dashboard the other day where somebody was posting about how um, it doesn't matter what Danganronpa game comes out next, that like all you need is a bunch of like uh, like horny anime girl weebs to, uh, to come out of the woodworks and they'll fucking make it work. And then immediately under that, someone else posted the screenshot of when you wake up on the beach and it's Nagito, but he has no shirt on and he just has like his jacket unzipped. And I was like, you know, that really speaks volumes. <laughs> he death shops at Spencer's and Hot Topic. Hell yeah. My kind of guy. So the main reason why this case is really special. But I can't say for certain though. Literally, what are you talking about? Nagito, I love you, but you speak nonsense. Hajime. I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Right? If you can explain it to me in detail, I think I'd be able to give you some more useful information. I don't think there's any harm in telling him what- remember before when he asked Hajime to tell him what happened and Hajime deadass just went, no. <laughs> you don't want to find the truth, you just want to make us suffer. That's not true, I'm doing this because I believe it's for everyone's sake. For the sake of everyone's hope, I gladly become the enemy, and I don't even mind when I die. <laughs> 
That's the main reason why I can't overlook this case this time, he says with the spirals in his eyes. You think he's lying anyway, he fucking knows what's going on. You know, it's very possible. You know, but the thing is, I, I <laughs> this could be because I like him, I just want to side with him. <laughs> but like, there's a little bit, oh yeah, maybe he is just pa patronizing Hajime. But I feel like this is like the third time he's been like, hey, can you tell me what's going on? I think I want to figure out. I think I want to figure something out, but I need to know more before I can, like, confirm what I'm thinking. And, like, all three times now, Hajime's been like, literally fuck yourself, so... <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> Regardless, I know you're not gonna tell me. Then it can't be helped. Guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Hey. Yeah, I mean, maybe try to get him to tell you what he's talking about. I mean, Hajime hasn't asked him. Hajime every time is just like, no, you're just gonna try and confuse me. Which is like, maybe just be smart. I don't know, get good. <laughs> That's true, whenever you get to the trial, yeah, he's like, I know what's going on, but do you? <laughs> then he proceeds to not be helpful. See you at the movie theater, bye! <clears throat> yeah, the movie theater is definitely a key to something in this. Because, uh... That was the last very weird situation we had. You see your whole body in the suit. I think this is all the same thing. The same that we already did. But I'm gonna check everything anyway, just in case. They don't look like they pertain to the case here, right? Okay, these were all over the walls. Made a bunch of them, had too many, so much pressing. Feels like there are less stickers than before. Okay. The shelves. Right? Ooh, the thick black paper that's folded up on the lower shelf looks like wallpaper. That is definitely what all those poles are wrapped with out there. And I remember there was like a piece of that wallpaper hanging from the ceiling somewhere. Looks a little torn, but what does this mean? Alright. Let's go back. Oh, I forgot to check if there were any Monokuma dolls in there. Well, I still need to talk to Mikan. I need to make sure to get those autopsy results from her. Find anything? Oh, God. It's been very inclusive. This music venue is just too hot. I can't estimate the time of death. If a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. Okay, so I'm thinking that, like, maybe we don't have... You remember how the whole point was Hajime was like, Oh, I know exactly when they died because of when I saw it on the thing. I'm gonna bank that that's definitely wrong. They were definitely wrong. He, he doesn't know. it Because that I think the person who we saw in the video is... Is not... Was not uh, our dearest, darlingest Ibuki for whom I will absolutely get vengeance. Um, and I also think that the, that's probably why they turned the heat up was to fuck with the time of death. And they used the video to make it seem like she wasn't dead yet. And also the fact that Hiyoko wasn't here when Hajime first found the body. As long as I saw it, <laughs> as long as I saw it, it should be clear what order of the murders occurred. First was a boogie that you, I mean, you don't know that. That's only when they're that's only when their uh, that's only when their bodies came out. As long as this is an imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistake in the order of the murders. Imitation murder? What do you mean? Uh -huh. See? It's a murder where the killer uses a creative work, like a song or a film, as an outline for their killings. What happened to Ibuki? Bruh, you weren't here last time. Hey, what's up, Schwenkman? Uh, Josh, they, they okay, so they tried to imply that she that she hung herself, but we didn't see it happen. And I think it's fake news. <laughs> How would an imitation murder be related to this? Based on the killing order and the way they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. Can people be more specific? Pretty please. Pretty please. Right? Imitation killer, okay, right, but about what? Tell me about what we're talking about. What media was this imitating? This too, Certainly conceivable if the killer wishes to complete the invitation. Hello? One more person might have been killed. Oh my god. 
Yeah, how nice of them to wait this long to tell us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it would have been really cool if this was, like, prior knowledge. That information would have been useful to me yesterday, etc. Things that would get out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed at once. I'm a real cautious fella, so I've prepared a perfect countermeasure. On this killing school trip, the same blacken can only kill a maximum of two people. Huh? But nobody knew that beforehand, so why would that have stopped them? Yeah. If killing everyone at once is okay, the blacken will be able to secure an easy victory, right? <laughs> this new rule will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brains. Um. Then there will not be any more killings. Um. Since you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? Just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. I know, I love her hoodie. I love Chiaki's outfit. I love Chiaki's outfit. I love Sonya's outfit. I loved how Ibuki dressed. As expected of you, you're very strict about games. I don't want to consider this possibility at all, and I don't even want to think someone would do this. If two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Ibuki and Hiyoko were killed by two different people. Yeah, Chiaki is Chiaki is wonderful. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, wouldn't it be easier to get away with killing one person? There's just a lot. There's a lot of layers. There's a lot of a lot of information coming at my brain right now. That would mean two killers exist at the same time, but we can only vote for one person, right? I am concerned. Yeah, you know what, Sarah? Great point. Imagine trying to kill Nekomaru and then trying to cover that. Like, imagine just trying to kill him at all. Like, what? You'd have to, like, poison them. <laughs> we can only choose one based on a majority vote. The other person could certainly achieve victory. So... He's probably immune to poison. Oh, yeah. Chiaki definitely has, has Roman vibes. Josh, I totally get that. The style. The charisma. Hi, Mom! Mom in chat. <laughs> So what happens in that case? What about a case where there's three incidents instead of two, or if four incidents overlap one another? Cheese, Chucky. Oh god, confusion. It's okay. I'll make sure. I'll make extra sure something like that never happens. So, are you implying that there was only one killer in this then? Meaning two killers can't exist at the same time. So it's safe to say that applies to this case too, right? Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right, fine, fine. That's right. There's always one killer at any given time. Even if they had an accomplice, I'd have you figure out who the mastermind is. Man, I ended up giving you a huge hint. She made me say it. Gamer brains are not to be underestimated. <laughs> I should just shut up and go back to my game. Right, I love the implication that he can, like, control and manipulate the entire system. I guess that narrows things down a little. Fine. Plus, if the same killer can kill a maximum of two people, it means a third victim would be impossible. Imitation murder breakthrough. Can you please explain? I haven't seen it. He can, but not to the extent of literally altering people's actions. I mean, at best, he could, like, manipulate something to probably kill the person who's trying to kill a third person in the moment. That's probably the most he could do. But, like, if he couldn't actually physically stop them, that's kind of the dilemma, right? I mean, I don't know. I, I'm probably looking into it too much, but... <laughs> oh my! But now that he's made it a rule, then obviously if a third person try, If a person tries to kill a third person, then he can just kill that person. And, I mean, that would be its own little conundrum, though, because then how would we figure out the class trial? It would be a real issue. When we first explored the asylum, Monokuma was passing on invitation tickets. Then the invitation is... He can literally teleport? It's, I, you know, you're right. I guess that is that is implied. It's true. It's just, uh, I think the, the layer, the, the interaction of that many people at that much of a time would be... It's more confusing for me if I think about if the person got away with it. That's more confusing. <laughs> well? Of what movie? Just the, the what? The movie that he played in the theater? Did everyone else watch that movie except for us? Nagito mentioned something about that. Yeah, he's going to the movie theater. Yes, see, see. I understand. Yeah. So you haven't seen it still, it's not too late, I think. Probably a good idea if you watch it. Alright, then let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, Where's Chiaki going? Probably the hospital. 
A Buki was there. I don't know what was going on at the hospital in the first place. You are Remember, wrong. she was acting super weird the night before. Thanks to that despair disease, we could not go there for some time. Some clues, right? Remember, she like we found her fucking Blair Witch in it in the hallway. Still, a lot of things I can do before the class trial. I'll definitely give it my all until the end. All right. <laughs> Kane, how, how you doing? She looks so determined. Her default stance is so intense. Just a little bit more time and I'll be back to my old self. This ain't like me at all. No, I think everyone's back to normal. I think you're just in love with Nekomaru, but that's just my thought. Very difficult to estimate the time of death. Not my fault, right? It's because it's hot. I got that already. The killer was behind this. Is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? Uh... No, then maybe that's on purpose. Then maybe they intentionally did it that way so that it would be confusing. So that we would think that it was in one movie, but actually it was a different order. But if you mess with the bodies, then no one would be able to tell. Akane can't feel love for anything but food. <laughs> You're right. Solid point. Um, the movie theater is on the third island, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh, Rocky. He's all snuggled up under all of the blankets and my sweatshirt. I, I love that they called that Electric Avenue. Rocky says hi. Oh. He says hi oh, and he loves you. Uh, yeah, you knew I'd come here. Is it because you asked me to meet you here? <laughs> Hell yeah, Rocky emotes in the chat. This case, the case this time is an imitation case in which the killer used that movie as their theme. I wouldn't know. I haven't watched the movie yet. Okay, let's go. Let's go watch it. Hey, manager, customer's here. Just let me in. Do, do you have a problem with that? Try to. I was just imagining Hajime trying to be a tough guy. His gazelle looking ass. You said you didn't want to watch it, but I knew you wanted to see it all along. It's what that Sudere Hajime looks like. Then you're really a tough guy. You were so devoted to being Zendiri, you even bought the Anakuma sticker for $1.5 million. <laughs> Nagito's like, everyone calls me crazy, but... How many movies do I think Hajime saw by himself? At least six. <laughs> In exchange for not watching this movie, Hajime paid $1.5 million for a Monokuma sticker. Come on, since we're talking about it anyway, why don't you show it to Nagito? Stop it! <laughs> I'm sorry, I was born stupid. I would kill for that sticker. I'm gonna I'm sure that's on the internet somewhere. I want that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was born stupid. So we paid 1.5 million dollars for a sticker so that we didn't have to go see this movie, but we have to go see the movie anyway. Alright, let's go. Give me my ticket. The Wizard of Monami. I don't like that. Only one chance to watch it for free. I've already stamped today's date, so I won't be, you won't be able to cheat. <laughs> Look forward to it, okay? All right. Okay. I strongly recommend you keep that ticket safe. Just think of it as a protective charm. Okay, if everyone could be a little bit less vague and ominous, I would highly appreciate it. All right, so let's show you everything out. I'm definitely gonna buy that, says the horny teenager uh, Hazume. Let's call him Nagito. Anything new? Any new, uh... Oh, you know what? Those, um, those hemp bags are all missing. But did they have Monami on them? I thought they had Monokuma on them. <laughs> Absolutely love knowing nothing at all about anything, ever. <laughs> Favorite part of the game. <laughs> oh, it was. It was just one, and it was it was Monami. Okay. So who else didn't see the movie? Well, that wouldn't make sense if they were imitating the movie. Dude, I always buy the overpriced snacks at the movie theater, even if I bring my own candy. Movie theater popcorn with that just fucking straight liquid hot butter that they put in there. 
And then when they layer it, if you get one of the employees who's like knows what they're doing and they and they want to make you have a nice time, they put a little bit of popcorn and then a layer of butter, a little bit of popcorn, layer of butter. I'll always get popcorn and a soda, and sometimes I'll get candy. I gotta like, you pop your own popcorn and then eat it in there? See, the popcorn's the one that I couldn't do. The candy, I don't mind bringing in, but I love getting just a huge ass soda, having a pee halfway through the movie. It's great. What's this? <laughs> I'm also appalled at bringing your own popcorn. How do you even, doesn't it, how do you even, what, how do you even, <laughs> Where do you even hide it so it doesn't get crushed up? I, 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 in a purse, I feel like it would get all fucked up in a pocketbook or like in your in your pocket, in a backpack. Candy, you can like, yeah, Ziploc, yeah, Ziploc bag. Oh god, I gave myself the hiccups from getting so outraged over this. <laughs> Too bad. Too bad. It's already sold out. You're so <laughs> There's no way it fall for that. There's no way it say something that reveal who the killer is. So the killer bought it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Put it in the hood, Mel. <laughs> they bring a camp stove and Jimmy pop pop that shit in the middle of the movie. <laughs> Just Josh it dead center in the movie theater, interrupting everyone. Don't do it when the previews are on, actually mid-movie. Damn, they check your bags there? I don't remember if they check bags here. I haven't been in the movie theater in so long. Absolutely absurd. In the hood of your hoodie. Incredible. Incredible. I I will I, I will respect I will respect the process. That is a very smart idea if you want to bring your own popcorn. <laughs> there was only one because it was a limited item. It's more like it's limited to one person, so there's more than one bag. Hey, um... When you buy one bag, you get another one free. For some reason, hearing you say that pisses me off. I want to save this as a screenshot. <laughs> I want to use that all the time. You saw a guy sneak in a 12 piece of Popeyes? That takes like a special skill. All right, so the person got two bags. One to put on their head and one to put on, on Ibuki's head. I'm telling you right there. Now then. Preparations are complete. Please enter the theater. All right, let's go. Nagito, you're so cute. I love you. All right. You did tacos once? I feel like tacos would be harder than the 12 piece. Um, you can't hide tacos in your hood. Nagito brings out the Jiffy Pop. <laughs> this is a nice theater. It says Naughty Bear on the walls. This movie sucks on the other one. <laughs> World famous director Monokuma presents a stunning masterpiece that reduced American audiences to tears. The Wizard of Monomy 2.5D. I don't like the 2.5D. Why isn't it 3D? Yeah, 2.5D, that sounds so half-assed. Now, Ben, please relax and enjoy Oh, okay, they were like, film. Taco Bell tacos, like they were already wrapped up. Okay. A little bit more reasonable. I thought you, like, made tacos at home and tried to bring them in. All right, I'm ready. No, don't bother these old people. Monokuma was born in a Who the fuck? village full of old people because the death rates outpaced the birth rates. Okay. I'm following. <laughs> Sad. One day, Monokuma was swept up by a tornado created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise. Mmm, that's... that's sad. <laughs> and was whisked away to Monami's country. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland so he could go back to pestering the I'm old I'm concerned people because I'm remembering that two, that three people get killed in this. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> I, can't, uh, I, I can't believe poor Nagito. I mean, fucking Hajime. Now I keep calling Hajime Nagito. Paying his 1.5 million. Did everyone pay 1.5 million? I thought it was just Hajime had to pay 1.5 million to buy the sticker to get out of it. <laughs> so he began his journey to see the wizard, Monami. 
who was rumored to oh, hell yeah, a wizard. one desire. That's right, he broke her, her magical way, staff. He met a very loyal group of friends. Monokuma met a Monami scarecrow <laughs> who was missing a brain. What? When he recommended that she commit suicide. Jesus Christ. The Monami scarecrow hanged herself. There's in one night. death, a boogie. He also met a Monami lion who was missing her courage. So he pumped her full of arrows. I think he probably just convinced whoever whoever the murderer is probably just eat, I'm guessing that they just convinced Ibuki to to either get up there and then they kicked the 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 step stool out or something like that cuz remember she was sick and she was all gullible because of the type of sickness she had that that despair disease pumped her full of arrows. Well, that doesn't sound like what happened to Hiyoko. He also met a Monami Tin Man who was missing a heart. So Monokuma sliced her into lumps of iron. That sounds like what he did to Hyoko. Kind of. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monami, the great and powerful. Eventually, one So is this just a land where everyone looks like Monami? Beating the crap out of Monami. <laughs> He's always beating her up. And in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. So then how did he get back home if he just beat the crap out of her? With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people, took their pensions, and lived the rest of his days <laughs> what in What an luxury. asshole! <laughs> What's his goal? What's his end goal? And he lived happily ever after. Oh, wow. End. Incredible direction. Incredible directing. Truly one for the books.